Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Swan Song. This quest is considered master difficulty and is medium length, about 30 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 100 quest points, 66 magic, 62 cooking, 62 fishing, 45 smithing, 42 fire making, 40 crafting, completion of one small favor and garden of tranquility quests, and the ability to defeat 11 sea trolls and a sea troll queen. The required items for this quest include 10 mist runes, 10 lava runes, 5 blood runes, pickaxe, axe, tinderbox, hammer, 5 iron bars, logs of any kind, airtight pot, brown apron, and 7 bones which can be obtained during the quest. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have 50 coins or a ring of cheros, or Draymond Lunar Staff or Piscatorus Teleports, Amulet of Glory, Prayer Potions, Cooking Gauntlets, Weapons with High Stab and Armor, Several Pieces of Food, and 43 Prayer. There are some maps in the description below that help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. To start the quest, you must first go to the Piscatorus Fishing Colony. The easiest way to get there is by using a Piscatorus Teleport or by using a Fairy Ring to code AKQ and run northwest. You can also use a boat that is west of the Tree Gnome Stronghold. Talk to Kathy Corcat and either pay her the 50 coins or use your Ring of Cheros. You will not have to pay her again. Once there, speak to Herman Karanos. When prompted, say, what's the rush? Do you need any help? I'm a brave adventurer, can I try? And watch cutscene. This will show you the adventures of the wise old man. After the cutscene, travel to Drainer Village using an Amulet of Glory. Once there, talk to the wise old man who is located in the building just northwest of the bank. You will give him the runes. During this next part of the quest, you'll have to battle 8 level 79 sea trolls with no safe spots. It is highly recommended that you use Protect from Melee Prayer while fighting them. Use the bank nearby to gear up, and when ready, you must go back to the fishing colony. Talk to the wise old man who is nearby. When prompted, say, I'm ready to fight. You will automatically go into the tunnel and the fight will begin. The wise old man will assist in the fight. When complete, enter the gates to the north. He will tell you to find Herman, who is located in a small building to the northeast. Talk to Herman, who will ask you to help make repairs around the colony. If you would like, you can search Herman's desk to receive a book, and if you have a bookcase in your house, it will become available. First, talk to Franklin, who is located near the front entrance of the colony. He will ask for you to fix the wall surrounding the colony. Go into the building with the furnace, which is located just north of the entrance. Use your logs on the firebox that is located on the eastern side of this room and then light it with your tinderbox. Then use each of the iron bars on the press, which is on the other side of the machine, to make sheets. Once this is complete, head to the western wall. Use each of the iron sheets on the broken wall to fix it.
When it's all fixed, talk to Franklin. Next, you'll need to talk to Arnold, who is located to the northwest inside of the building with the bank icon. Unfortunately, you will not be able to use the bank or general store until the quest is complete. He will ask for five cooked monkfish and will give you a net. Walk northwest to the water's edge and fish until your inventory is full. Be warned that while fishing, you'll be attacked by three more sea trolls. Keep trying to fish, and when you have defeated all three, you should be able to fish without interruption. Once you have collected the fish, equip your cooking gauntlets, if you have them, and cook the fish in the building that is the most southwest. When you have successfully cooked all five monkfish, bring them back to Arnold. Now talk to Herman. After the conversation, you must go to Yanil. The easiest way to get there is by using a minigame teleport to Nightmare Zone. Use a nearby bank to collect seven regular bones or attack any nearby enemies to receive them. While you're here, you might as well gear up for the final fight. The Sea Troll Queen will attack you up to 16 melee damage and 37 magic damage. She has a very high magic defense and is weak to stab and ranged attacks. She can also drain your prayer up to 20 at a time. It is highly recommended that you bring several prayer potions and plenty of food for the fight. Be warned that the fight is in an instance room, so if you die, you will lose all of your items. When ready, go into the Wizard's Guild and down into the basement. Talk to Wizard Fromscone. When prompted, say, I'll see what the Necromancer needs me to do. Then use an Amulet of Glory and head to Drainer Village. Walk west towards Port Serum to find Malignius Mortifer. He is located nearby elemental wizards wearing all black. Talk to him and when prompted say, I need help with saving a fishing colony. He will take the bones. Now put on your brown apron and continue walking west towards the crafting guild. Go inside and talk to the Master Craftsman, the one that is not wearing a crafting cape. Once complete, take off your brown apron and return to Malignus to talk to him again. When prompted, say, I've spoken to the Master Crafter. He will teleport you to the fishing colony. Be sure to set your quick prayer to protect from magic and piety if you have it when you fight the sea troll queen and use special attacks on her to make the fight go faster. Go inside the colony and talk to Herman again. When prompted say I'm ready, let's fight. A cutscene will occur and the battle will begin.
When complete, talk to Herman to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 15,000 magic experience, 10,000 prayer experience, 10,000 fishing experience, 25,000 coins, access to Piscatorus Fishing Colony, which gives you the ability to fish or monks fish and train with skeletal mages. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.